welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Beth and I run the crochet brand Realm Designs today I am going to show you how I make the flowers for my daisy chain top and how I attach them for this design you are going to need some DK weight yarn I'm using the cotton yarn by Paintbox you'll also need a four millimeter hook and some scissors the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot to attach your yarn to your hook so I wrap it around my fingers and pick up that yarn and pull through and then we pull the two ends and it attaches it to your hook. I'm then going to chain four and then I'm going to slip stitch into that first chain. And we have made a loop. We're then going to work into this loop. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do 12 double crochets into the hole. And I'm working in UK terms, so it's 12 double crochets or a US 12 single crochets. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert my hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you want to do that 12 times. And if you find that your hoop is filling up a little bit, you just want to pull the stitches around a little bit just to give you a little bit more space. So we've done two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then going to slip stitch into that first dub double crochet that we did. And that is round one done. We're then going to start doing the petals. And to do that, we're going to chain three. And I'm going to do three double treble crochets into that next stitch. And again, that's UK terms. So a double treble crochet in US terms is a treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over twice. So we've got three loops on our hook we're going to insert our hook into that next stitch yarn over pull through so we've got four loops on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're going to do that again wrap it round twice insert our hook pull through yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then one last time, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So we're starting to see the petals are forming. And then going to chain three, And I'm going to insert into that next stitch and I'm going to yarn over pull through and pull through so slip stitch into that next stitch and that is our first petal so we're going to be repeating that all the way around so we'll have a total of six petals so again we're going to chain three three double trebles into that next stitch And then chain three, and slip stitch into the next stitch.
again, chain three, double treble into the next stitch, another double treble into that same stitch, and another double treble into that same stitch again. Chain three, and slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm going to repeat that three more times and I will show you how we finish off the last petal. So once you're at this point and you're finishing off your sixth, sixth petal, you're going to chain three and you're going to slip stitch into the same stitch where our first chain three started. You're then going to pull through and fasten off. And that is your first flower done. So once you've created your first flower, you want to follow the same steps to create another flower. Now I'm at the point where I want to attach this flower to my blue one. So I want this petal that I'm about to make to attach to this petal on my original flower. So what I'm going to do is chain three. And then I'm going to do one double treble into the next stitch. And then going to pull out the yarn and take out my hook. I'm going to get my first flower and I'm going to insert my hoop into the middle double treble of the petal. So that's here and I'm going to insert that through the top of the stitch. I'm then going to get the other flower, I'm going to reinsert my hoop and I'm going to pull through like that. I'm then going to finish the flower like I normally would. So I'm going to do three double, uh, another two double, double treble into that space. There's one, and then another. I'm then going to chain three. And I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then I'm just going to do another petal just like I normally would. So chain three and then three double treble into the next stitch. And then chain three. And slip stitch into the same stitch that we started from.
and there you can see that the flowers are then attached. You will then repeat those steps to attach the flowers stacking them like bricks into the formation the pattern suggests for your size. The pattern shows you how to make sizes extra small to 5XL and I will link it in the description below. Thanks for watching.